Chuck, time to come in for bed. Sorry, guys. I have to go in. We can't stop. I'm barely filthy. And I want to win at least one game of Super Duper Double Dare. You've beaten us five times, Chuck. What's your secret, amigo? I'm fearless, Digger. I'll take on any dare you give me. Then I dare you to ignore your dad and keep playing. Chuck! <laughs> um, any dare except that one round. See you tomorrow. Dad, guess how many times I won at Super Duper Double Dare? From the look of you, I'd say too many times. Your windshield is grimy, your fender is scratched, and look, your tire is almost flat. So you'll just pump some air into it, and I'll be as good as new, right? I would if my air pump wasn't broken, honey. You know what this means? Tomorrow, we're going to take you for your first visit to Doc Bolt. He's another mechanic in town. Really? Wow. Really? And while we're there, we'll have Doc Bolt give you a full checkup, just like the ones grown-up trucks get. Yippee! Hey, wait. I've never been repaired by anybody but you. You sound a little nervous, son. I heard you telling your pals you were fearless. Uh, well, I am. Okay, now. Off to bed. Big day tomorrow. I dare you to get a good night's sleep. I super duper double dare you. <laughs> without seeing you first. Could be you've blown a gasket. Now roll over to that lift and let's have a look at you. I wonder what's going on. I warned you not to put off your repairs, Smutchy. I know, Holly. I just hate seeing the mechanic. They get you in there and the next thing you know, they want to completely rebuild you. Oh, I'm hurting just thinking about it. They want to re-gear your transmission, replace your brakes, overhaul your chassis. Heck, if you're not careful, they might completely remove your engine. Oh, Smutchy, you just need a little tuning up and you'll be fine. Honestly, my son Chuck is braver than you. He's going to the mechanic tomorrow for the first time and he's absolutely fearless about it. Welcome to the mechanic's office, Chuck. Just relax. This shouldn't take too long. And when we're done, you'll feel like a whole new truck. Like a whole new truck. Ah! <gasps> Hola, Rowdy. Hola, Biggs. Hey there, Digger. Are you guys ready for a good game of hide-and-seek? See, of course. But I can never tell which part I like more, the hiding or the seeking. Hide and seek? Wee! I love hide and seek. Let's make it even more fun and play hide, seek, and crash into piles of tires. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Chuck? He's usually the first one here. Psst. Huh? huh? Psst. Chuck? Um, Chuck, you're playing hide and seek. I reckon you're not supposed to tell us where you're hiding. I'm hiding, all right, from my mom. Really? Is she playing too? <laughs> <laughs> no, she wants to take me to see the mechanic to get my tire fixed, and I don't want to go. Why? Your tire does look pretty low. You're not afraid, are you? Chuck, afraid? Nah, my buddy's fearless. I went to the mechanic once, and I felt a lot better afterwards. It's not the afterwards. It's what might happen to me while I'm there. He might want to replace everything. Oh, Chuck, where are you? Chuck, help me hide from her. Wow, I didn't seek for real. And I know what we can build to help Chuck stay out of sight. Coming. Hi, 
Hi, boys. Hi, Hi Jack's mom. mom. Have you seen Chuck? He needs to go to the mechanic for his tire. Um, yeah. What was that? Um, <laughs> oh, it was my uh, transmission. I, I think it needs some fluid. Well, Rowdy, come by later and I'll take a look. If you see Chuck, tell him I'm looking for him. Yes, ma'am. Good luck, ma'am. <sighs> All clear, amigo. No, Digger, don't. Chuck. It looks like all your tires are running low on air. I'm fine, but how am I gonna hide now? We could build another pile. No way, not that again. Hey, I know how to throw your mom off the trail. Adios! <gasps> Those look nice and stinky. Excuse me. Nothing like a good roll in the smelly stuff. Ugh, what'd you do that for? Phew, I can barely stand to be near you. You smell. Exactly. Chuck? <laughs> Chuck, where are you? Are you boys sure you haven't seen? <gasps> Whoa. OK, Ooh. I'm ready to have my transmission oh, checked. Oh, and I have this little dent in my fender. Smell. I think what I really need uh, is a big, big hook. I'll check you out later, Rowdy. I better keep looking for Chuck. Thank you! Thank you! Oh, oh no, no, wait! Sorry, amigo. It was a great plan, but we couldn't take it any longer. My tires are fine. <sighs> I just wish I could, poof, become another truck. Then my mother wouldn't even recognize me. Hey, that's what you need, a disguise. I belong in the circus. I reckon that's the kind of circus I'd want to go see. I can barely move. Maybe that's because your tires are running so low on air, amigo. No, it's because of this costume. Get this silly stuff off of me. Chuck, where are you, Chuck? You know, the more I think about it, the more I think you boys are trying to hide something from me. Say, who's that? Oh, um... Well, this is my cousin, ma'am. He's visiting from... from Iceland. Yeah, that's it. Where it's... icy. Oh, really? Iceland. Well, just how cold is it in Iceland at this time of year? Uh... Lickin', sprokin', zippin', ze wheelin', mit their freezin'. Ah, sorry. <laughs> he only speaks... ice language. <laughs> Uh-oh. Chuck, come back here. Hey, what's wrong with me? I can't move. Now the pressure in all your tires has gotten too low. Chuck, why have you been hiding? I... I guess maybe I was a little afraid to go to the mechanic. Oh, honey, it'll be fine. Come on. Let's go see Dr. Bolt. Good luck, Chuck. All done. Huh? Red hot turbochargers. That didn't hurt. Well, Chuck, visits to me are hardly ever as bad as patients expect. And most of us know how to keep things from being too painful. Feel better, honey? Totally. Thanks, Doc Bolt. What if Chuck comes back? And we don't recognize him. I don't want my buddy to be different. How about just like I was? Only then. <gasps> Chuck, you don't seem different at all. I'm the same old me, but I feel great. Worrying about seeing the mechanic was much worse than actually seeing him. Boy, from now on, I'm not going to worry about stuff until I need to. Bumpers up, you guys. Friends for the long haul! So. Does that mean you're ready to play? You bet. What should we play? Well, here, I've got some great ideas for disguises for everyone. Hmm, that sounds pretty 
bad. Mom, Mom! I just heard! So Uncle Verdi was here last night? He sure was. Good hot turbocharger. <laughs> and he put up the half pipe at the proving track? He sure did. I bet you've seen Uncle Verdi do some amazing truck tricks on the half pipe, huh? My brother has pulled off some pretty great stunts. Flips, twists, nose grinds, tail slides, he's done it all. The best trucks know how to get big air. That means get up really high, and the trick to doing that is to get a whole lot of speed. On your marks, get set, go! True? The half pipe's here? It sure is. Wahoo! Let's go check it out. Yeah. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Hang on a second, Chuck. Did you forget? You promised to build me that new tool shed today. Oh, right. But I didn't know that the half pipe would be here. Can I do it tomorrow? I really need that tool shed today, honey. Please, Mom. You know I love building things. But right now, I'm so excited to try out that half pipe. I'm sorry, Chuck. Come on, I'll show you where I need you to build it. Here we are. The shed kit should have everything you need, and the instruction sheet is right here. Good luck, Chuck. I'll be working on a tough engine repair in the shop, but I'll check on you in a bit. Hmm. Oh no, it looks like a really big job. But that'll take a long time. Aw, oh, suffering squeaky brakes. And I was so excited to try out that half pipe. <sighs> Come on, y'all. It can't be that hard. And we'll stay here to help you, partner. Yeah, Chuck. Then we can all go to the half pipe together. Yippee! Yeah! 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> These are complicated. Too complicated to be fast. There must be an easier way to build a shed. Hmm. Maybe we can find a shortcut. A shortcut? You mean a shorter way to get to the half pipe? No, Handy. What I mean is a faster way to build the shed than it says in the instructions. Are you sure? Because the instructions say the first step is... We don't need the instructions. They're too complicated. We can put the shed together much faster without them. What could go wrong? Okay, Digger. Grab that... Thingy. Then Handy, take this, uh, duty. And Biggs, take this whatchamacallit. Boomer, here's this thing of all. See? We didn't need instructions. Half pipe time. Aww. Hmm. I think I see the problem, Chuck. The shed needs something called a foundation. It's a big hole that keeps it in place. <sighs> a hole? We have to dig a hole first. No problema, Chuck. Digging holes is my specialty. No, wait. I have a better idea. A better way to dig than me? I'll bet we can do it faster if we use Biggs' giant tires to dig the hole. Turbo style. Well, that sounds like a hoot and a holler. Um, but how? Just rev your engine real fast. But stay in place so that your wheels spin against the ground. I think it's working! Yes! Perfect! Okay, now let's grab the materials and get to work. Uh-oh. Biggs is digging buried all the shed stuff under the dirt. It's going to take us forever to dig those back out. Maybe this time we let the hombre with the shovel do the work? Whew! Look, guys. We've wasted way too much time trying to dig a hole. The shed is like a puzzle. We just have to figure out where each piece goes. Okay, start solving. Uh, Chuck, maybe we should look at the instructions to see where the pieces go. Can't stop to look at those now. We'll waste too much time. Come on, don't you want to check out that half pipe? So it won't fall from the wind, and we even 
best of all, we finished it in record time. So, what do you think? <gasps> what happened? Chuck, how am I supposed to get in? Oh, um, well, it's like a drawbridge. Yeah, think of it like your own little castle, Mom. <sighs> My own castle, huh? Chuck, there's not even a back wall on this. Oops, we must have forgot. Sorry, Mom. So, can we go to the half pipe now? Chuck, you need to fix this. But we already fixed it. The shed has to be built properly or I can't use it to store my tools. Now, excuse me, I've got to get back to work. But Mom, please, Mom, we spent so much time already. Can I just finish it tomorrow? Hang on a second, Chuck. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Wow, you've been working on that engine all day long, and you're still not done? Not yet. I don't want to rush, or I may make a mistake. Now let's see, how do I install this part? Are you reading instructions? I thought you already knew how to fix stuff. <laughs> I always check to make sure I'm following directions properly. Sometimes I double check or even triple check. But I think we may be just about done. Okay, let's see if it worked. You did it, Mom! It wasn't fast and it wasn't easy, but it was done right. You see, Chuck, the way to do a job well is to take your time, make sure you have good instructions and the right tools. I have instructions. I just have to follow them. And I definitely have the right tools. My friends! So you're starting all over? Well, I thought you wanted to find a shortcut so you could get to the half pipe. It'll still be there when I'm done. In the meantime, I've looked at these instructions. It may take a while, but I have the perfect tools to help me. You've got tools? I thought I had all the tools. <laughs> I'm talking about you guys. If we use all our strengths and follow these instructions, we can build it faster than if I did it on my own. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. OK. Excellent job. Thanks, Mom, but I didn't do it by myself. My friends worked with me to make the shed perfect. They were the right tools for the job. Well, at first, we tried to do it fast. Yeah, we thought we could find a shortcut. Because we really wanted to go to the half pipe. But, Mom, you made me realize that the fastest way to do something is to do it right the first time. Well, you sure got it right this time. What do you say I take you over to the half pipe and show you a few radical tricks my brother taught me? Yeah! Awesome! <laughs> totally! Yeehaw! Okay, Chuck. Now that you picked up enough speed, try to lift off at the lip and swivel around. Here we go! Yeah! Red Hot Turbo Charge! I did it! Nice job, Chuck. Okay, who wants to learn how to ride Goofy style? <laughs> I do! Wait, wait, not me. Why not, Digger? I'm goofy enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Give me a mountain to climb and watch me do it. Yeah. Any day, any time, you know I'm up to it. I got what it takes to come through. 
Cause there's nothing I can't do Gonna make all my dreams come true 